Hello, I'm Lyndon. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. And today I want to share with you a fantastic method for always being able to find really cool rhythmic ideas for when you're improvising. And if you use this rhythmic idea, even if the phrases that you're playing aren't super complicated, this will add a real level of authentic funk and jazz improvisation to your phrases. It's such a simple method, but it's so effective. And the way that I came up with this idea was through working with clients here in my private music practice where I teach and somebody was saying to me when I improvise it kind of sounds like a bit kind of duh, 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 duh. and they said to me when you improvise it sounds totally different it sounds really fluid and da -da 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 -da. and I, I can't do that and so I developed this method which I'm going to share with you now and uh, it's really really effective so um, just before we get into that I just want to say thank you so much I've been absolutely blown away with all of the super kind people who've shown support for these videos by buying me a coffee. Somebody also asked about um, can they um, tip me via PayPal, which you can, and I've put those uh, addresses in the description below. So it does always make me and my wife dance around the house with glee when someone uh, buys us a cup of coffee. So if you'd like to see that happen, and I'm thinking about filming me and my wife dancing around the house just to show you, so I might do that another time. So let's uh, have a look at this method. I'm going to be using uh, one of my favourite scales, which is a blues scale in the key of E for alto saxophone. And the notes are E, G, A, B flat, B, D and E. And if I play that with no backing track, that will sound like this. Coming down from there. And I love blue scales. I think they sound absolutely fantastic even if you don't do anything with them. So the secret to being able to always find a really rhythmic and very cool phrase is to think about language. And this is what I explain to my client. Now this is going to sound a bit crazy, but I want you to keep an open mind and use your imagination. So think about language. And the phrase that I came up with was, I like chicken and my wife likes cheese. I like chicken and my wife likes cheese. Now I'm going to say that with my saxophone, the same rhythmic idea, which is but, but, ba, ba, da, 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 da. I like chicken and my wife likes cheese. Okay, I know it sounds crazy, but it works. Trust me, try it. And if I just try that on the first note of the blue scale, that will sound like this. <laughs> And then I could do the same thing using two notes, the E and the G. So as you can see, it doesn't have to be one word for one note. I can mix it up and just play with those two notes using this idea. But all the time I'm thinking in my mind's ear, I've got, I like chicken and my wife likes cheese. I know it's crazy, but it works, trust me. So if I do that with a backing track, that will sound really, really good. And the backing track that I'm using is from an app which is called Session Band Soul Jazz Funk Volume 3. And I've got it on a 70s funk feel. And I'm, uh, the chord is E minor 7, and that's in for alto saxophone. So I'm just now going to use this idea on one and then two notes over this backing track so you can hear what it would sound like. Sounds really cool. That sounds really, really cool. It just sounds 
funky, it sounds like language, it really, really does. So now I'm gonna bring in the next note in the sequence. So now I'm gonna be using E, G, and A. It's gonna sound fantastic, it really will. And there's no rule about how I distribute the words among those notes, if you see what I mean. I can just be playful and just, so long as I'm just saying I like chicken and my wife likes cheese, I can use any one of those notes that I want. Then I'm going to bring the next note into the equation, which is going to be the B flat. And I'll bring in the next note, which will be the G. So now I've got E. G, A, B flat and B to play with. And I could carry on doing that and adding another note so that I might as well do it. The next note is gonna be a D and then I've got all of them available to me. So I could just run up the scale going, I like chicken and my wife likes cheese. I know you think I'm bonkers, but seriously, this, this is so good. Everybody gets this. Doesn't it sound nice? It sounds really, 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 really cool. So now I can say anything. I can take any phrase and really the weirder or more funny you can make it, the better it's gonna stick in your mind. So I've got two lovely cats uh, that we live with here uh, at home. One's called Belle and the other's called Binks. They're second-hand cats. They already had those names when we got them. So we took them off another lady. Don't start talking to me about cats because I'll go on all the time. But one of the things is the cat throws up on the carpet, you know, so that's just what cats do. They throw up from time to time. My cat threw up on the carpet is a viable phrase. I can take that and use it. So my cat threw up on the carpet is da 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 da. My cat threw up on the carpet. I know it's bonkers, isn't it? But it works. So look, um, that's so if I played that just on one or two notes, I'll do it on one note. Sounds pretty cool already. And if I use that with two notes, then if I do exactly the same as what I was doing before, so put it with a backing track, and you'll see, I'll do it on one note, then I'll bring in another note, then I'll bring in another note, and so on and so forth. Here we go. So that last phrase, my cab threw up on the carpet, sounded really, really cool. So you can take literally any phrase and you can make it work. And when I'm at a gig, I'm kind of talking to people. I'm saying phrases, I'm talking through my saxophone, so much so, sometimes you wonder if people are actually gonna understand. Did you just say something about cats when you were playing that? 
No, that's never actually happened. But uh, So I hope you find that useful. Uh, rhythmic uh, ideas are not hard to get hold of. They're really, really not. Just take anything out of your life and say it with your saxophone. Music is a language. Make it conversational. Tell a story. Leave pauses. Take a statement and reinforce it and develop it. That's the secret, to develop that idea and take it further and further and then have a new idea and develop that idea and take it on make it like a conversation so i really hope you found that useful if you did please feel free to support the the making of these videos uh, by uh, commenting subscribing sharing and purchasing me uh, caffeinated beverages uh, so thank you so much once again and i'll talk to you soon take care